Hey guys, welcome back to Primetime Studios. Like always, I'm Primetime Phil, and what a victory coming off of this week. And some of the predictions that I had, like... Now, he may get one or two catches, but you may get an interception as well, too, from Diggs. So, I think I like that matchup. You don't intercept these passes. Diving. Cowboys, what a start in California. And what a start it was in Los Angeles. But by the end, the Dallas Cowboys offense looked really sluggish. But when the game was on the line, they did drive it down the field and kick the game-winning field goal, which kind of made any kind of problems kind of throw out the window. But there was some stuff in there that you do need to improve on. The defense did step up, and it wasn't the Super Bowl champs they were going against, but they still held a high-powered offense down to only 17 points when they were averaged to score more than us by the end of it. When you look at the offensive game plan going into this game against the Eagles, running the ball is not going to be as easy an option as it was against the Chargers, but not as tough as it was against the Buccaneers. You're going to have that in between with guys like Brandon Graham being out for the lineup for the Eagles. Watch for the secondary of the Eagles to really attack the outside receivers. Even if Cooper's gone, you got Wilson that can easily step up into the role and still be very potent on the outside. So watch these safeties start to attack the outside receivers, leaving the inside open for either the slot receivers or finally the debut of our tight ends to this offense and giving it more of an attacking other than Zeke and Pollard out of the back or you know, these receivers attacking you. Now you're giving debut to the tight ends against the Philadelphia Eagles. When it comes to the defensive side of the ball, the game plan this week against the Eagles for most Cowboy fans are to put a spy on Jalen Hurts. Last year they put Goodwin and he did a really good job. But this year I think it's very different with Dan Quinn's defense. With everybody swarming around the ball, I think I'm with guys like Will Skywalker Steel when he says that maybe you just run your defense the way it is. Because guys are making plays in this defense and why kind of just go away from the scheme? With Dan Quinn honestly adjusting his game plan to each team as they come along, I think it's a great thing for him to just do his thing and he probably will put a spy on Hurts. If this defense can continue to cause turnovers like they have been, that's going to be a recipe for a championship defense. And it's something going forward you need to know the holes that you need to patch like an Anthony Brown, which is an easily patchable thing when you have other corners like Maurice Kennedy right behind him that just is ready and chomping at the bits to get in there and actually show what they can do in the NFL. With this Eagles team coming in, they have not faced a defense like the Dallas Cowboys, with their first two tests being, of course, the Atlanta Falcons and the San Francisco 49ers. Those teams nobody is afraid of, and you do not think their quarterbacks are any threat. Right now, Dak Prescott is playing the best football of his career, and I really honestly think that he's going to have a career day against these Eagles team. You have a front seven that is really good for the Eagles, but they showed in the sense of our offensive line that they can really hold their own when they had pieces is missing against a championship team like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers so I don't fear Eagles going into this game but I just fear things that you, when you shoot yourself in the foot or your offense isn't going or you're getting flagged those are the things that I think that can beat this team but I do not fear an Eagles team going into this game so that's it for this week honestly I think the Cowboys are really going to run away with this one but Honestly, Eagles are probably going to have some late scores. So I think Dallas is going to score 34. Eagles probably like 16 points. They're going to try to push a comeback. But I think really this team can dominate the Eagles team. It's just really how much does Dallas shoot themselves in the foot and allow the Eagles to kind of stick around and think that they have a chance. Thank you for subscribing, guys. I appreciate all the support. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Help that YouTube algorithm for me. And don't forget to always ring that bell.